Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the universe banks hard to port. Well, don't let anybody know. A big gun and a confident attitude will get you through a lot in life. I'm so glad you get blown up. You're so annoying. Like, your squad in Mass Effect 1 is so annoying. But because Mass Effect 2 plays more like an action game rather than just an RPG, your team has a lot more... For some reason, they put a lot more personality into the characters. Here we go. Saving Kata. Oh, that's right. I should probably do a quick save. We should actually, for real, save the game, though. There we go. We've come uh, pretty far so far, so I don't want to have to just backtrack. Moreland. Hello, welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Non-human armor, standard items. Because we don't have any inhuman... No inhuman uh, squad baits yet. Okay, like that. Nope. Head back up here, see if I missed uh, any keeper. Is that really? You're Conrad. Shepherd, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Do I know you? <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm just a fan. One of your biggest fans, actually. My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. They say a lot of things. I was too busy killing them to count. <laughs> hey, uh, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? I suppose. I don't know how things change up when you be a dick to him. Here you go. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again. Volus. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Let's see. Still can't afford any of these things. Uh, Gemini Amp. A biotic amp. Uh, no. Let's just buy the license so we can get it on the ship. Scan the keeper. And nothing going on downstairs, so let's head over here. journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? No, you cannot. I don't have time to give interviews, Ms. Wong. I don't want an interview. I'm looking for information. I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. No promises. But if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Guess I'm gonna take neutral on most of these, just so I can get the missions. Set the Presidium. Th 
there is a keeper around here. Yep, one keeper. Replenish the Medigel. Nothing in here. Hello there, Commander. I'm Dr. Claude Michel. Is there something I can do for you? I need supplies. What you have for sale. Of course. <coughs> oh god. Special properties. Microprocessor wired in a combat suit. Healthy med gel. One regen per second. Uh Yeah, why not? Let's buy an armor upgrade. Uh, first aid. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Just sneezing all over the place. Alright. Now let's head downstairs and see what's up. to C-Sect Academy. Officer Lang. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? Torfin was a case study during my training. I can't believe you took out the whole base. Amazing. Looks like you have a fan. I have a lot of fans. I'm, sorry, I'm fucking Commander Shepard. Someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang. Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Cool. It's like, you have a fan. We have a lot of fans. I like how all of my guns are just strapped to my back. Like. To see a sect academy. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, hmm. as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. So they found another beacon on another planet. Oh god, these elevator rides take so long. Cool, we're here at C sect. Keeper. Requisition officer. Commander Shepard here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How do you know who I am? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Of course Show I will. Show me what you've got. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. 
You have a lot of cool sniper rifles and other junk. However, I just want your upgrades. Because I can't buy anything else right now. So, uh, I'll at least get some small things to carry me for right now. Need to find Garrus. So, head up here. Salmon, there's a keeper. Let's examine all the terminals. Examine the weapon locker. How many of those guys do I have so far? Look for information. Scan the keepers. I got 16 out of 21. Do a quick save. Do, 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 do. So that leads to where do you lead? You lead to the Presidium. You lead to the docking bay. Those Asari commandos are impressive. Lightly armored, but their speed more than makes up for it. Unless that speed lets them outrun bullets, I'm more inclined to stick with nice, solid armor. And a big gun. Boy, take him. You two are the worst squad mates ever. So... Uh, there is... Not a lot happening right now. I want to finish the side mission so I can get some cheap little XP for it before I actually jump into the real big missions. Cool. And we'll head back down to CSECT Academy, go the other direction. Because we need to still head over to. Not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe you've just got to head to Clora's den. I know that knocking the gaff on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches. Ashley, we fought the gaff one time. We. Oh, Jeebus. Oh, man. It's that itis. Eat a really good meal and you start getting tired. So let's head down here and head to Clora's Den. Nice to see so many humans working for CSEC. Do, 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 do. It's a little elevator music again. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. 
The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Ah, the Krogans. Oh. Let me out of this elevator. I hate my squad mates. And it appears everybody left the stream. So let's head to... to Flux, which is up here. Let me get that funky space beat. Got a problem? Who, Doran? Oh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left, too. Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. Get to the point. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's den. <laughs> is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, he's dropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. I assume CSEC is protecting her? can't watch her all the time. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it for Jenna's safety. Leave it to me. I understand just how dangerous Cora's den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Don't worry, Rita. We'll get your sister out of a shady place. Of course you are. Low stakes quasar. Keeper. You got it. So we should have another mission now, trying to find the, uh, trying to find the guy who hacked the machine. Uh, rapid transit. Ward locations. Markets, med clinic, C-sect. I've been to all those, so I guess it's time to head to Koro's Den. You've arrived at Cora's Den, a gentleman's club in the ward. Figured it was the one place I didn't look. Bang, 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 bang. Damn right, those were Sarens, man, because they're assholes. Cool, so now we're in the Space Strip Club. Back off, Rex. Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. Oh, yeah. This is Fist's only chance. If you smart him, take him. Show him, Rex. Out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. You're damn right it is. Let's just try not to 
So, we'll talk to Fist later. Alliance military. <laughs> I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. I'm looking for a CSEC officer, a Turian named Garrus. Give us Garrus, Harkin. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down. I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Captain let you in on his big secret. Just tell me where Garrus is before this gets ugly. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush hush. The first human ever given that honor. And then he blew it. He screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Why should I believe a drunk like you? Fine, ask Anderson. I bet he yes. tells you he's too stupid and proud to lie right in your face. Why should I believe a drunk like you? They just gave me that option Fine, again. Ask Anderson. Okay, so yeah, it's just he's too stupid and proud to lie right in your face. It's not why I'm here. Garris was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the board, so must have heard you going back there. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink it, please. Patron. Commander. Hey, General. What do you want? I'm here on Shayira's behalf. Your lies are hurting me. Good. The lies have been killing me for days. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me. Me! Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet. Some general. What kind of example are you to your troops? The troops can kiss my leathery backside. All I wanted was to retire and be with her. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and hmm. what did it get me? Huh? No. Those days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. You're a damn general. Quit your whining. Ha! You got balls, kid. There are only five people in this <laughs> galaxy who talk to me like that. So you think it's that easy? Straighten up and act like a general. <laughs> I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Now get up and get moving, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Sure. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Why can't you tell him yourself? Well, the last time he saw me, I, I was disparaging his ancestors and shouting his secrets in public. Fair enough. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. Exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? Where is it? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Okay. Well, here's the soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Sweet. Jenna. I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. Continue all the renegade. Now, these people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. <laughs> Charming girl.
All right, so pretty much triggered the Jenna event now, I think. Chelik. Fair enough. What was that about? I guess we'd better go find out. Cool, so we have the uh her informant now. How many missions do I have? Uh Zeltan's complaint. I can go speak to him. Talk to Chelik. For the information, the fan. Speak with Shaira. Okay. So I got some new equipment too, so let me take a second to go through all this. Nothing. Cool. Do a quick save. And we are on to. All right, there's uh, nothing going on here. Let's talk to Conrad again, I guess. If he's around, I don't think he is. All right, so let's make this quick. Let's just go back to the embassy. Consortium chambers. We'll drop off the side missions and then we will start up the actual stuff. Because I'm pretty sure I've gotten most of the side missions here on the Citadel finished. So then we can start exploring the other planets. Let's talk to Shaira. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Let's talk payment. I can't spend gratitude. I would not dream of letting you go without payment. I do not make a habit of incurring debts. These credits will cover your expenses. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. What is that? What are you offering me? I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through, proud, solitary, alone. But it gives you strength. You never hide your strength <laughs> either. It serves you well, terrifies your foes. Few will dare to stand against you. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Look like Jean Reno. Uh, thanks, I guess. Close your eyes and relax, Commander. We fucking? Oh yeah, we fucking. This violin music. So that's how you do it. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Fair enough. Remember my words. Got paid, got renegade, got cash, got metagel. Got the hookup. Fantastic. Alright, uh let's go to the embassies now. I had never actually I never actually did that with her, so that was actually very anticlimactic. It was just kind of 
Hey, let's rub up on each other, and then my hand will smack the glass. That's attractive. So, alright. Embassy time. Go and talk to the Elcor. Relieved sigh. I'm glad no one spilled my secrets. I don't do anything in the final battle of this game series. Despite the fact you saved my fucking fleet. Strange greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Smack you in the face with his data pad. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, Dismayed. Dismayed. Anyone can discover my secret. Just make sure you leave Shaira out of it from now on. Agreed, most assuredly. It is clear that the consort was blameless. There we go. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you <laughs> excuse me, I must go now. I love how these guys talk. So long. Farewell, you. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then, not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Yeah, 30 credits. Making all of that money. I didn't intend to. So... Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. There are many points of interest here, including the Citadel Embassies and CSEC Headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. That's cool. Goodbye, Goodbye and thank you for using Avena. Thought you would have something more important to say. Uh, let's see. What's the journal look like now? Juan Citadel, he uncovered an Alliance patrol report. One of the patrols mentioned some strange activity in the Hydra cluster. I have 18 out of 21. Discovered a strange transmission discussing some sort of bionic commune. Whole theme seems harmless. Something about the message is a little disturbing. That is in the other cluster. Uh, so there's Conrad. As you investigate the Citadel, maybe on the lookout that will help Miss Wong. Rita's sister. And funnel money. If you can trace the system, you know where it's going. Ward's access corridor. Okay. Quick save. And we are going to go towards the ward access again. Uh, C sect first. Let's talk to the guy about Jenna. First of all, it depends on where exactly this guy is. He's up here. Okay. So we. Here we are. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Watch your tone, Chellick. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were there to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. But you're still using her. This job isn't easy, and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you were so concerned with her safety, there's a way we can help each other. Sure. 
Always playing the angles, detective? It's part of the job. Now, are you gonna help me or not? What I'll do you need? You, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Sounds Where good. Where can I find this, Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. All right, cool. So we are now part of an illegal arms deal. So... I guess now we're just going to run around and do all these little side missions. Uh, ward locations. Med clinic. I will not be going to set objective in the med clinic just yet. Instead, I'm going to go to the ward access. Because there is a signal in here. Or at least there should be. So, Jax. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Do you have the X mods? Show them the merchandise. Yeah, that looks right. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. I don't think so. I'll just take the weapon. The hell are you playing at? Sorry, Jax. This is the end for you. Stupid ass army boy. And got him. Oh, Ashley went down. So I guess now Well the shopper. Guess now I can head back to C Sect. Or location. C Sect. Do, do. I wonder if I fucked up anything by killing him. What the hell happened down there, Commander? Quit your whining. Here's your shipment. Damn it! I've got to get on this right away before Jax's superiors get wind of his death. What about our deal? Jenna will be removed from harm's way. You've put me in a bit of a bind here, Commander. See yourself out when you're ready. Thanks, Chalik. Take no prisoners. Uh, let's see. Assault rifle. We'll do that, and we will use... Decryption. Yeah. Auto. Auto. Let's 
So let's head to the med bay now. Med clinic. This is definitely different because I'm so used to playing one way that doing di things different now is really concerning me. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or Who are you? Let her go. Ah! Yeah. Garrus popping caps. Got him. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Nice shot. Took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Doctor Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. <laughs> they wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell it's you Tali. Scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. The Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. Evidence. He must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shep. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Got Welcome it. Aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. The whole team's coming together. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the academy before he leaves. Move out. Aw, oh, yes, yeah, son. Tech strength, bonding strength, except squad. Yes, yeah, son. Garrus is on the team. All right, Garrus. You can get the Banshee too. <gasps> no armor for you. Sorry about that. Seasect Academy. Let's talk to Rex. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. <laughs> Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. 
Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill this. You got it. You're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a say. Seek the enemy of your enemy. You will find a friend. I like that saying. I think we're going to get along just fine, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Ah, the team. The team, I'm bringing in Rex in. Rex and Garrus, because fuck yeah. Yes. Obsidium. Uh, wards, actually. And let's go to Koro's Den. I'm about to fuck shit up. It's like you've arrived at Koro's Den, a gentleman's club in the ward. <laughs> it's not going to be gentle for so long. Seal up. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. <laughs> stay back or we'll shoot. You're making a mistake. I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Uh, well, uh, uh screw fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. <laughs> That's right. Walk away. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Getting the renegade points is. Take all those. Uh, let's see, assault rifle. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired to an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know. I told her I'd set a meeting up, but when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. 
Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. There we go. You're on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Yeah. What are you doing? The shadow broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that quarry. Word up. Optical storage disk. Easy, disc easy decryption. Take all. Three minutes to get to. Three minutes to get to Tolly. There we go. That's it. Bag of attack. Do 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 do. do. There we go. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. There we go. Now it's some action. Jesus. Fist set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Don't worry about Fist. He got what was coming to him. Then I guess there are two things I need to thank you for. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not there we go. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. Getting the gang together. I'm not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many? Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? You wanted proof Saren's a traitor. This is it. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. What kind of evidence did you find? How did you get it? During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. What did you find out? Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. And here is the Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Saren won't get out of this one. Wait, there's more. 
Saren wasn't working alone. He has the matriarch, correct? Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audiophiles prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The quarry? My name is Tali. She's with us. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Excellent. I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Gonna take... Tali and Garrus. And do a quick save, as well as an actual save. Alright, and it is about 11 o'clock, about the three hour mark into the stream. I'm going to end it here tonight, guys. Thank you all for joining me. We will return to this game on Tuesday. Uh, sometime between 8 and 9.30. Like I said, it depends on my work schedule. But I hope to see you guys there. So I hope you guys uh, had fun tonight. And I'll see you when we begin Mass Effect one more time. See you guys later.